Yeah, it's a perfect song for this segment. Um, how many of you growing up heard that breakfast was the most important meal of the day? A lot of us did, right? Well, in today's world, we know it's still important, but we also realize the role sugar plays into this meal. So here to explain more is Nancy Addison. I love when you're here, Nancy, because <laughs> you and I are like this. I'm just right on the same uh, page as you are about this. And what I like about what you're showing is it, this is from the regular grocery store, from a healthier grocery store, and you might think you're buying something healthier because of the brand, but unless you're reading the labels. That is absolutely right. And I'm, I'm always amazed at how much sugar is in things. And when I go to the grocery store, and I recommend this to everybody, take those reading glasses because yep. the ingredient label is what tells you what's really in it. And the front of the package can have beautiful pictures and it can say that it's got whole grains. But yeah, but yeah. And, and this is, I just want to show this because these two brands here, you can see them. I, I've seen on the shelves at, um, at grocery stores, especially healthier grocery stores, and I usually think, as everyone else does, if it's, if it's a healthier brand, meaning it doesn't have preservatives and all that stuff in it, then maybe it's a healthier choice. But when we're talking about sugar, which we know now is sometimes more harmful than some of the preservatives, you really have to oh, watch absolutely. the labels. Absolutely. In fact, sugar is the main cause of diabetes. Mm -hmm of uh, overweight and obesity and even heart disease. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Yale University Medical School said that children should have no more than three to four teaspoons of sugar a day. And adults really only five. And so when we're reading these packages, a lot of times they'll put that the serving size is a half a cup. And so it looks like it has less sugar in it, but you need to realize that you're probably eating a cup of sugar, a cup of that cereal. And three and teaspoons of sugar is not very much at all if you measure it out. Really not. And so just for example, a lot of people are on a gluten-free diet, and I know that that's very helpful for many people, but just because the package says it's gluten-free well, uh, doesn't mean it doesn't have sugar in it. This is my... my biggest pet peeve is people who are like, oh, I'm going gluten-free because you think it's going to help you lose weight. Unless you have celiac disease, it probably won't help you at all. <laughs> and and it's still packed with um, a ton of carbs, a ton of sugar, all that stuff. Well, Re what I found was really surprising is that some of the ones I got at the healthier grocery stores actually had more sugar in it than the other ones. Like this one, for instance, has 32 grams of sugar. Oh my gosh. This one In one serving. In one serving. And so how much is that? Let's just see. So a cup, a cup of cereal, and you put 32 grams. So that's actually eight teaspoons of sugar. So let's just look at how much sugar that really is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you're thinking Yum. this is a healthy breakfast, <laughs> you know, we need Look to really this. think again because this shoots our blood, blood sugar up. It's covered and in sugar. Your yeah. pancreas works so hard to bring that down. And for a child who's going to school, they have this big sugar high and then they have a big mm -hmm. crash. And that's really ch uh, challenged their pancreas and it hurts their uh, concentration and it can make them feel really tired. I'm an all-level certified teacher in Texas, and I used to teach children with learning disabilities. And one of the things I realized was a lot of these children had really high sugar diets. They're all jacked up on sugar, yeah, because then their mm -hmm. insulin levels are so high, and then their body has to work even harder to, to, to even everything out, and it's just a disaster. That's really right. And the children, it's so much more important what they eat because their organs are still forming and their brains need to function during the day. So for a breakfast, you want something that is high quality uh, protein, good fats, and some carbohydrates. Now there are some brands here and you can go on the Environmental Workers Group website and they tested 1,500 uh, cereals and you can look at the healthiest and the least healthy. So if you want to find out, but there are some, Give us an example. some old favorites that are actually healthy. Mm -hmm. And so these are very cost effective. And this is, okay, so Kix so is just three grams of sugar. The, the old favorites, you know, one gram of sugar in a, in a cup of Cheerios. And then, of course, the checks. They had two grams in one cup. And if the kids don't like it because it's not sugary and yummy, stevia is a great, a great alternative, right? Or xylitol? Yes. Xylitol is a great choice for children because it can help prevent inner ear infections. It has less calories. And 
It, it can actually promote good dental health. And then stevia has no calories and it can actually help regulate your blood sugar. And I want to say this about xylitol, and I think you and I have discussed this before. Xylitol, the word, makes it sound like it's some kind of chemical, but this is an all-natural sweetener. It is, and it's made actually from birch tree bark. Yeah. And uh, in World War II, Finland found that their children had actually really good dental health and no inner ear infections, and they uh, didn't get sick as much, and they had been using this because they had had their food rations cut off. So it's been studied extensively and found to be very safe and effective. A little bit of this plus, and a little bit of the stevia, they both a little goes a long way. Right. So you can sweeten up their cereals, they'll never know the difference, I promise That's you. That's right, and milk can make your, your cereals sweeter too. Mm -hmm. So I recommend getting unsweetened milks and then sweetening it yourself with the stevia. Or uh, a little bit of cut-up fruit, maybe a half a cut-up banana gives a little bit of sweetness to it, something That's like that. Right. Yeah. And then these are some of the healthier ones uh, as well. The Ezekiel brand, now we had a segment on yesterday where we were talking about healthy snacks. And again, this Ezekiel brand that has sprouted grains, right? Right. And this actually has no grams of sugar. Wow. None. And this is just the original uh, the original. And flavor. it's almost like, do you remember grape nuts? This is almost like grape nuts. It's super yummy. Well, and I actually have grape nuts here, and oh, that actually has 10 grams of sugar in wow. one cup. So, wow. you know, we have to really read the ingredients and look at how much they're measuring and how much sugar is in it. Yeah, it pays to really look at the labels. And if you, you know, take care of what you put in your body, then your body's going to take good care of you. And I need to say, <laughs> you also have great snack ideas in your cookbook. Oh, thank you so much. You do. Where can folks get it? My, my books are on Amazon and in Barnes & Noble. Okay. And uh, thank you. And I also have some homemade granola recipes in there. Uh, if, and I just want to say, if you're buying in bulk and you think it's less expensive, make sure you look uh, and see if they haven't added sugar to that because almost every single thing I've seen in the bulk section at the grocery store has added sugar to really? it. Really? And a lot of those don't even have labels that you can that you can look at, no. too, so they hide it in there. Okay, you can sign up for Nancy's free newsletter on her website and receive her healthy grocery store walkthrough as a gift. It's so helpful, and we will have that link for you on our website at thebroadcasttv.com. And we'll be right back with more.